Dear Gloria, motion sickness is stuck in my head as I write this to you. I remember when you were listening to the song once. I think you were in Sweden, and you texted me that you felt sad, and I think everyone around you may have been happy at the time. As much as I never want you to feel sad, a part of me felt sort of happy and honored that you thought you could confide in me. I have never felt such overwhelming admiration for someone like the admiration I feel for you. I think I've already told you this, because I tell you most things, but when Ferreira let me put out the name cards your freshman year in Spanish, I try to put yours next to mine. I always wanted to talk to you that year, in cross-country, impressions, Spanish, but if I did, I'd always feel nervous before and slightly embarrassed afterwards. Once, you sent me this video that Savannah Brown made. Her lisp is fake, by the way, about existing and being seen and all that stuff. In Gloria, when I say this, I truly mean it. But to be seen by you, to be heard by you, it's something I am grateful for every day. You seem to be the only person who truly, truly understands. When you told me you were going to Germany, I felt this pang in my heart. It was a twofold pang. Part of me was ecstatic, elated, jubilated, excited for you. The other part of me was scared to not see you for so long. But if anyone should go to Germany, it is you. I can picture you sitting on the plane and reaching for the light above you so that you can write about how excited and scared you are. The person next to you, I think he's an old man with glasses, has no idea he's sitting next to one of the greatest writers on the planet and that one day you'll be a famous author whose words speak to people. In Germany, you walk the streets in your Doc Martens and black tights and find quiet places to write. You meet so many new people, but only some of them are special enough to be a part of your universe. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Gloria, happy birthday. (laughs) Doing well. <laughs> what else do I say? Uh, have a good day. <laughs> have a good birthday. Um, what's something you like about her? On outside? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? I don't know. She likes going outside and like nature and stuff, right? Maybe. She likes writing, I guess. Yeah. I like that you read because you want to and that you watch Interior Lies from New York Magazine on YouTube. I like when you notice pretty houses and stop to look at them. Here are some houses from that street we bike down. As you can tell, I've been taking videos of our bike rides. I really wanted to tell you about this video because I like sharing my ideas with you, but obviously I couldn't. I wanted to thank you for always letting me share things about myself and for listening. You are a wonderful listener. Whenever I feel strange about something, Like the fact that for some reason I'm not excited about the senior lawn signs on the green or Dodie's YouTube video or my second grade teacher, I know somehow you'll understand. Just thinking of you makes me feel better when I start to feel that strange way. I like analyzing people with you, especially Maxim. Gloria, happy birthday. I trust your opinions of others and of the world and of feminism more than I trust my own. You're one of the greatest thinkers I know. Thank you for challenging me to see the world differently and for letting me get glimpses of it through your eyes sometimes too. You are someone I want to share everything with and also someone I want to know everything about. I don't think you know how incredibly special you are or that you are going to have a life full of wonder and hope and wonderful moments and one day you will be able to see your own power. I know that sounds sort of weird and this is sort of cliche, but you are truly a force to be reckoned with. Hi Gloria, I just want to wish you the most spectacular birthday that anyone could ever (laughs) experience because I know it's tough to have a birthday during quarantine but I think that you deserve something that's really special and I'm really happy that Esther's making this video. Um, I just want to let you know that I love you so much and I'm so grateful that I have you in my life and I get to experience life with you because you 
you really just allow me to see life in a whole different perspective and I'm really grateful for you and I love you so much and I hope 17 treats you well. That scene in Normal People where Marianne has that little debate with the annoying guy in her history class and obliterates him with her soft-spoken eloquence, that's you. And when her friends recount the story later and Marianne is modest about it and acts like her words didn't mean much, that's you too. You are strong in your opinions. You are not afraid to speak your mind. You are respectful of everyone, and you never act like your ideas are superior to anyone's. You are a listener and a learner, always curious about the world around you and what it means to be human. I know we talk about angsty things all the time, but I really wouldn't change that for the world. Hi, Gloria. I told you it was all meant to be. Would you believe Would you? Hi, Gloria. I hope you have a good birthday. I miss all of our conversations and our singing. Um, and I miss you, seeing you. Um, I hope the year treats you well. I hope your 17th year, you recognize how beautiful you are and how thoughtful you are, how good your fashion sense is and how much the world needs to hear your voice. Being your friend is one of the greatest joys of my life. And I know you are someone who will continue to impact me until the day I die. Wow, I'm very dramatic, but it's true. I can't thank you enough for allowing me into your life. And I can't express how deeply I care about you and wish only good things for you. I'm probably more likely to get arrested. <laughs> okay. I hope you feel every day of your 17th year that to be alive is a wonderful thing. I hope you meet people like Tom Payne and Winnie the Pooh Boy and that so kind much. man we met in Starbucks who told us about his daughter. I hope in your 17th year, you decide to consider yourself a true artist, that you write a book or two, that you laugh, that your soul feels okay, and that you recognize your beauty and meet Timothy Chalamet. I rhymed. I'm convinced you are the best person I may ever know. Happy birthday, Gloria. Read it! <laughs>